Hi guys, in this video I'll be showing you step by step how to perform a clean install of macOS Sonoma on an older unsupported Mac using OpenCore Legacy Patcher. Here I've got one of the last fully upgradable Macs Apple made, the 2012 13 inch MacBook Pro. Right now it's running macOS Catalina. But in this video, I'll be using OpenCore Legacy Patcher to upgrade it to the latest version of macOS Sonoma and walking you through the process step by step. First, you'll need a USB flash drive at least 32GB in size. Plug it into your Mac and run Disk Utility. Select your USB drive in the pane on the left and then click Erase. Choose a name for the drive, I'm just going to call mine USB. The format should be left as macOS Extended and the scheme should be GUID Partition Map. Now click Erase and the drive will be formatted. Once it's finished, click on Done and then you can quit Disk Utility. Now we need to download OpenCore Legacy Patcher. Go to the OCLP GitHub page which will be linked down below and scroll down until you see Assets. Now click the link for OpenCore Patcher GUI app and then click allow to save it to your downloads folder. If you're using Safari then the file will be automatically unzipped. But if you're using Chrome or another browser then you'll need to double click on the zip file to decompress it. Now right click on the OpenCore Patcher icon and select open in the pop-up menu. You'll see a message saying that OpenCore Patcher is an app downloaded from the internet and asking if you're sure that you want to open it. Click on Open and OpenCore Patcher will run. Once it opens, click on Create macOS Installer to begin creating the bootable USB. Now click Download macOS Installer and OCLP will begin looking for available software. In the next window, make sure that macOS Sonoma is highlighted then click on download to begin downloading Sonoma. This will take a while to complete depending on the speed of your internet connection. Once it's finished, the install will be validated and you'll be asked for your macOS user password. Type your password, click OK and it will begin extracting the installer. When it's done, you'll be asked if you would like to create a macOS installer. Click Yes and then click on Install macOS Sonoma. Next, you'll be asked to choose the disk that you want to use for the installer. Click on your USB drive to select it. Then click Yes in the confirmation dialog and you'll be asked for your macOS user password again. Type your password, click OK and OCLP will begin writing the installer to your USB drive. Again, this will take a few minutes depending on the speed of your USB. When it's done, you should see a message saying that the USB was successfully created and asking if you'd like to install OpenCore. Click on Yes and then click Install to Disk. When it asks you where you'd like to install OpenCore, choose your USB drive. Then it will ask you for the volume and you should only see the EFI partition of your USB drive listed. Click on it to continue and then enter your macOS password again and click OK. Now OpenCore will be installed to the EFI partition of your USB drive making it bootable. So that's the USB drive prepared, now it's time to reboot and begin the installation process. Click on reboot, then restart and your Mac will shut down. When it starts up again, hold down the Option or Alt key just before you hear the boot chime to bring up the boot selection screen. You'll see three drives listed, your Mac's internal SSD, Install macOS Sonoma and EFI Boot. Highlight EFI Boot and hit Enter or click the arrow under the icon. This will bring up the Open Core Boot Picker. And now you'll see two options your Mac's internal SSD and install macOS Sonoma. Highlight install macOS Sonoma and hit enter or click the arrow. After a short while, you'll find yourself at the familiar macOS recovery screen with four options. Restore from Time Machine, install macOS Sonoma, run Safari or run Disk Utility. Since I want to perform a clean install, I'm first going to run Disk Utility to format my internal SSD. 
highlight disk utility and then click continue. When disk utility runs, go to the view menu and select show all devices. Now highlight your SSD in the pane on the left and click erase. Choose a name for your SSD, I'm going to use Macintosh SSD. The format should be APFS and the scheme should be GUID partition map. Click erase and the SSD will be formatted. When it's finished you can click on done and then quit disk utility. This will take you back to the recovery menu. Now select install macOS Sonoma and click continue. Read through the license agreement, click agree and then agree again. Now you'll be asked where you would like to install macOS Sonoma. Select your internal SSD and click continue. Now macOS will begin installing. This will take a few minutes and your Mac will reboot several times during the installation process, but OpenCore will automatically select the correct boot volume after each reboot. For the first couple of reboots that will be macOS installer and then for the final two reboots it will be your internal SSD. After the final reboot you'll be presented with a familiar macOS region select screen. And it's just a case of going through the initial setup as if you were setting up a brand new Mac. Choose your country, connect to your Wi-Fi network, sign in with your Apple ID, create a user account, select your time zone. Once you're done and you're into macOS, after a few seconds you'll see a pop-up from OpenCore saying that it's detected you're booting from an external USB and asking if you'd like to install OpenCore onto your internal drive. You'll need to do this if you want to be able to boot your Mac without the USB flash drive. Click on OK, then click Install to Disk. You'll be asked which disk you want to install OpenCore onto. Click your internal SSD to select it. When asked for the volume, there should only be one option, the EFI partition of your internal drive. Click on it to continue. Then enter your macOS password and OpenCore will be installed onto your Mac's internal SSD. When it's finished you'll be asked to reboot. Click reboot and then restart and your Mac will shut down. As it restarts hold down the option key just before the chime to bring up the boot select screen. Now you can remove the USB flash drive as it's no longer needed. You'll see two boot options listed, EFI boot and Macintosh SSD. Select EFI boot and hit enter to bring you to the open core boot picker. Now you can select your Mac's SSD to boot into macOS Sonoma. And that's it, the installation's done and you should have a fully functional macOS Sonoma on your old Mac. If you look in login items, you'll see a few entries under background items that you may find odd. But these are nothing to worry about, they're part of OpenCore. Mikolai Grimaljuk is one of the lead OpenCore developers. This 2012 MacBook is definitely showing its age, but I've upgraded it with 16GB of RAM and replaced the original hard drive with an SSD. Under Sonoma it's more than usable for most day-to-day -day tasks like email, word processing, web browsing, watching YouTube and even some light 1080p video editing. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.